Hey everyone, in today's episode of Ask David, we're going to answer, what type of lens do I need for street photography? Hey David, I want to get into street photography, but I don't know what kind of kit I should use, what kind of lens I should have. What do you recommend? So, there are a few things to consider about street photography. But, in general, you're going to want a wider lens. So, a fast lens and a wider lens, these are pretty good options. A little bit of it has to do with what type of camera you're using as well. A lot of people like to use range finders for street photography. Those are going to have a fixed lens. So, you don't have a whole lot of options what kind of lens you use. But let's say you're using an SLR and you do have some options. For street photography, you want to try to go a little bit wider because you're going to be responding to action very quickly. You're going to have framing as a secondary concern if you're trying to get a photo quickly. Otherwise, you would lose. It's better to get the photo and have to crop some of it out than not to get it at all because you can't frame it. So many street photographers, not all, there's lots of different techniques and opinions on this, but many street photographers use a 28 to 35 millimeter lens. 35mm on 35mm format or on full frame digital is approximately what the human eye sees when you include our peripheral vision. 28mm is slightly wider, I mean this is exaggerated, but 28mm is slightly wider than that. So those are two really good options. Both of those tend to have fast options as well. There are 35mm f2 options that are pretty inexpensive if you have a Canon. EF system, the Yongluo, is a, a $65 to $100 option that works fairly well. If you're a Pentax shooter, the 31mm f1.8 is a fantastic moderate wide lens. And other Nikon has a phenomenal 35mm f2 or uh, f1.8, I forget which one it is, that is ideal for this type of use as well. A 28 f2 will run about $400 to $500 typically for a a, an OEM lens, and um, but those are really good. A 28-2.8 is a phenomenal option as well. You lose a little bit of fastness because it's a 2.8, but they're pretty inexpensive, and 28mm lenses have phenomenal depths of the field. So if you set it to f16, you can basically get everything from about a foot and a half in front of your lens to infinity in focus at the hyperfocal distance. So using a fast film, setting it in manual focus at hyperfocal, just clicking away, is going to give you a lot of flexibility and a lot of ability to respond to sudden events and quickly changing things. So for street photography, something on the moderate wide side looks good. Those lenses in 28 to 35 millimeter range also don't distort the world so much that things begin to look strange. A 24 millimeter lens is pretty wide. Um, I find I have a 24mm f2 I've tried to use for street photography and I find that the results don't really hold up all that well because it's so wide that if you try to respond, what happens is that you start to get image distortion as things are closer or further away. With, with the slightly narrow, narrower 28 and 35 field, things look a little bit better in your final images. 